What is up everybody? I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now as I level up my party members, get my squad up to the new level cap of 45 that I have unlocked, and continue to advance in the game and try to do harder things, I do have to admit that auto battle can be very risky. Uh, auto battle can be very dangerous. Because auto battle, most of the time when you do it, there's a few things you're doing. Either A, you're not paying attention to the game and you're doing something else. Or B, you're kind of like watching it, but you're doing something else. You know, you're kind of like half there. And, well, I've had a couple instances where, you know, especially in Palace of the Dead, and I think this is where auto battle is the most dangerous, but it's also where a lot of people do auto battle because... The Palace of the Dead is so grindy, and when you leave and come back, you don't keep your progress, so you have to go all the way back up to the floors, or all the way back down the floors, however you want to say it, and it's it's a, it's a dangerous thing. It's very risky when you uh, auto battle and you're not paying attention, or at least taking a head count at the end of your fights, which is something I neglected to do, and I noticed it. A couple, I caught myself the very first time. And then I accidentally overwrote my save, so then I had to go back a save. But I did actually lose a unit uh, through auto battle at Pal. I it'd have to be Palace of the Dead because there's cliffs. Uh, I lost my Hydra. I was very very depressed. Um, I didn't even realize it for a couple weeks. I went to fight the last boss the other day, and I wanted to get all my dragons out. And I had my two dragons, and I'm like, oh, I have a Hydra. Where's he at? And I'm like, he's he's not here. Where, where's my Hydra? What? And it would seem I, I had used him in Palace of the Dead, I guess. Or somewhere somewhere where there was a cliff. Maybe I used him in the Hanging Gardens, but I don't really remember even using my Hydra. So I don't know what happened to him, where he went. Uh, all I know is he fell off a cliff at, at some point in the game. Uh, I, I, I really don't know where or when or how. I know I recruited one. I made a video on one. I had him. And uh, he, he's gone. So basically, this video is a warning to those that do auto battle and do it like I do, where you either don't pay attention to the battle and like walk away for 10 minutes, come back, oh, it's over? Okay, next, 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 okay, next battle. Or you're kind of like me and you're doing something else while periodically like looking. Uh, Make sure you take a head count at the end of the battle. That is my best advice. Obviously, save before every battle, and then take a head count. And I know it can be weird, especially for me, because sometimes battles are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever. Just m make sure you realize the amount of people going in, your units going in. Be like, okay, this is a nine-person battle. Now, when the battle's over and it shows the XP screen, count to nine. And uh, if there's not nine and there's only eight, better redo the battle, or seven, or whatever. And that's probably the best way to avoid what's happened to me, especially if you're not paying attention. But this was basically a public service announcement to uh, warn anyone that might be like me. And uh, you don't want to lose your units and then forget you lost them. And then it's like 30 hours later in the game and you're like, man, where's that guy at? Because you don't really use him a lot, but you know, you like to have every class. Like That's me. Like I like to have every class available, every different type and I like to just have them to have them. You never know when you're going to need them. And I needed him and he wasn't there. So let this be a reminder to you. Let this be a warning for those of you that aren't doing that yet. Uh, be cautious of Palace of the Dead, Hanging Gardens, or any other of the maps that have pitfalls, cliffs, edges that literally fall into the abyss. Because that is the most common way to lose a unit. I've never lost a unit to an end cap. I always catch the end cap and stuff, so I don't think that's ever been an issue. But auto battle with in Palace of the Dead is risky. Let me know what you guys think, though. What do you uh, have? You ever had this happen? Have you ever lost a unit through auto battle? Do you never auto battle? You know, to avoid that, I can't imagine never auto battling just because how the game is. But definitely. Uh, you know, I, I've had some silly mistakes that I have caught them. I have caught the, a lot of them. I had Kasha would die. You know, I've had other units drop off cliffs like my White Knights. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, especially unique units that you can't get back, you know. 
Those are those are the worst. I mean, I can go recruit another Hydra, you know. So this, is, this isn't that big of a deal. But imagine if you lost like a unique unit and you weren't paying attention. Oh man, the pain, the suffering that would endure upon your soul. Oh man. Well, guys, as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'd be curious about you know your endeavors with auto battle and how it's kind of screwed you over to with not paying attention. Please let me know down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.